In this video, we're gonna make our own smart door lock project which we can open with our AirPods and also with the help of smart beacon keychain that we are going to make in this video. So let's get started. Beacon is such a term which I think 70% of my audience must already be aware about and for rest 30% don't worry, I'm here for you. So in this video, we'll be clearing the concepts about what is Beacon, what are its practical application, like how Beacon is being used in real life. And not only that, we are also going to make our own Beacon kitchen using which we'll be unlocking our door as soon as the kitchen comes near to the door. We don't need to do anything. It automatically done to the Beacon and the smart door lock. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM Designer software. So coming back to the video, beacons in a simple manner are BLE based devices that constantly you know, emitting advertising the data nearby and our phone acting as a BLE scanner or BLE receiver uh, you know, grabs the data, receives that data and work accordingly. Okay, So that's the simple functionality of what is a beacon and how does it work. Now the question arises that how the simple BLE based devices will be useful in real lives. Well, let me tell you some of the examples using which your funda about how BLE beacons will be useful will get clear. So just imagine you own a shop and you have installed a BLE beacon inside your shop. So what will happen now is if any person going, you know, just in front of your shop will get a pop up from your shop, even if that customer is not entered in your shop. Okay. Now the pop up can be about the sale running on your store. The pop up can be about the exclusive product that is available only on your shop. That pop up can be anything. So basically you're advertising your shop just to the customers going through your shop. Okay. So just imagine the type of conversion that will happen to the specific people going through your shop. Okay. So that's one of the example. Now the second example which I'm going to give is being used by many of you people daily which are the smart airports or airports you can say okay so I do have this Apple airports pro so these are also beacon based device what happens is as soon as I open the box it automatically start advertising its data and the iPhones nearby to this particular uh, airports pro will receive the data and a pop-up will appear about this airports pro and it will automatically get connected to it so we didn't do anything we just opened the lid it started advertising and it got directly connected to the nearest iPhone this is a beacon so that was all about what is Beacon and how it is being used in real life. But we won't stop here. Rather, we'll take this step one more further and we will try to make our own Beacon kitchen using which we'll be unlocking our door as soon as that kitchen comes near to the door. So that's our agenda. And to make this project, we'll need a couple of components which includes two ESP32 boards, one for kitchen and one for controlling the lock. After that, we'll need a 5 volt power supply for powering up the ESP32 board, a relay to control the solenoid lock, and the lock itself, which I have already attached onto my door. We'll also need a 12 volt adapter to power up the lock. After that, for kitchen, we'll need a lithium battery, a TP4056 battery charging module, a switch, and a push button. We'll also need some miscellaneous components like resistor, diodes, etc., for making this project. Now, after getting all the components, you have to connect them all according to the circuit diagram whose image is mentioned in the article whose link you can find in the description of this video. Now, to make this project more robust, sturdy and neat, I designed my own custom PCB for both smart lock and smart keychain on one single plane and what I did here is I put a big slit uh, in between the two you know, separate PCB so that as soon as I receive the order, I can just make it into two parts easily. Okay. After designing the PCB, I just gave its order to JLC PCB directly. Now you can also order your custom PCBs from JLC PCB in very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB project, select the color masking if you really want it and place your order. 
And if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your home within a week. Yes, you may get it. So try ordering your own custom PCBs from GLC PCB to make your projects look neat and more compact. Now for getting the PCBs, I was a little worried about separating both of them, but they got easily separated with just a little pressure. Now after separating, I shouldered both the PCBs with all the required components. And after shouldering the components, the PCB looked something like this. Neat and sturdy. So with this, we have successfully completed the hardware part of the project. Now it's the time to program both the boards. So let's first start with the smart PLE Beacon Kitchen. So here is our code for Beacon Kitchen. Now I will just let you know what are the things which you need to take care of while uploading this code onto your board. So first of all, I have one mode button here. So what I did is I have provided two different kinds of modes to our smart kitchen. One is the continuous mode and second is the trigger mode. And here I have attached one button to select each of the modes. Okay. Now before moving ahead, let me just discuss what is continuous mode and what is trigger mode. So as this kitchen is battery powered, uh, I have decided two modes. In the continuous mode, this beacon will be advertising the data every five seconds and it will go to sleep again. Okay. So what will happen? It will advertise the data, go to sleep for five seconds, again wake up automatically, advertise the data go to sleep for five seconds and the cycle will continue go on and on so this is the continuous mode but in this mode the battery will drain way more faster but the benefit of this mode is you don't need to worry about you know pressing any button on the kitchen as soon as you come near to the door the door will open up so this mode feels like a magic but on the other side to save battery to run this project way more longer on the single charge i put one trigger mode so when i put this kitchen into the trigger mode what will happen is there is one push button which is called as trigger button attached at the GPIO 4 of the ESP32 board. So when this kitchen is in trigger mode, it will only advertise the data when I press the button. Okay. So when I press the button, it advertises the data and it will go back to sleep forever until and unless the button is pressed again. Okay. So with this, we can save a lot of battery. Okay. So here are the two pins where I attach the push button and the mode switch. Okay. After that, here is the UUID of the beacon, which is a unique identification number you can say assigned to this particular device. Okay. You don't need to change anything here. Straight after that, uh, going into the loop part of the code. So here I have put an if condition about whether it is a continuous mode or whether it is a trigger mode. Okay. So you don't need to change anything. The one thing you can change here is the name of your beacon device. Okay. So right now I have named it as Techie SMS Beacon Kitchen. So this name will be advertised onto the receiver side. Okay. So you can change it according to your need. Okay. I'll change the name here as well when it is a trigger mode. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all about the beacon kitchen. What I'll do is I'll straight away select the right board, which is the do it ESP32 David V1, select the right com port and straight away hit the upload button. Okay. So code is successfully uploaded. Now what I'll do is I'll remove this ESP32 board and insert it inside the PCB of the kitchen and let us test this much beacon and then we'll move on to the receiver part. So I'll directly insert this ESP32 board into the kitchen. And as you can see, it light up automatically because it is running on the battery. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll take my smartphone, open up my example called as BLE scanner. And right now, as you can see, a new device appeared called as Techie SMS Beacon Kitchen and it is also displaying its RSSI value. Okay. And as you can see, right now it is in continuous mode. So if I move my kitchen a little far away, the RSSI value will change after five seconds. Okay. As you can see, after five seconds, I'm getting new RSSI value. So which reveals that this board is currently in the continuous mode. Now I will take it to the trigger mode for that. I will take the switch to another position. And I'll press the reset button. Now, this is important. Every time you change the mode, you have to press the reset button. Okay. Now I'll refresh this particular BLA scanner. And as you can see, our BLA device is no more visible. Okay. Because right now ESP32 is in deep sleep mode and it would only advertise the data if I press the trigger button. So let me just press the trigger button and see if it works or not. Okay, as soon as I press the trigger button, as you can see, the Techie SMS Beacon Kitchen appeared onto the BLE scanner. So our BLE Beacon uh, Smart Kitchen is perfectly working. Now we are left with the receiver part on how to receive the data and control the lock. Let's jump onto the Arduino and see the code for that as well. So here is the code which will receive the data and control the lock. Let us understand this code as well. So first of all, I have defined the relay pin S2 as I have attached the relay at the GPI2 of the ESP32 board. Now we have this known BLE address, which is really very important in this particular code. Okay. So what is known BLE address? 
See, we do have a several BLE devices nearby. This laptop is a BLE device. My mobile phone is a BLE device. My smartwatch is, of course, a BLE device. So there are constantly so many BLE devices, you know, emitting the data, advertising the data. Okay, but we don't want to open the door with any of the BLE device. We want to open the door whenever a particular BLE device, for example, our smart kitchen is nearby. Okay, so how this code will differentiate a smart kitchen with other devices? It's with the help of the hardware address, the device address. Okay, so that device address we have to put here. Now here we can also put multiple addresses. Like if I want to open the door with the help of the kitchen, and if I also want to open the door with the help of my smart this BLE AirPods, I can do that. Okay, we just need to you know put comma and add the address of our second device here. Okay, I'll let you know soon about how we can add the address after you know explaining this whole code. Okay. Straight after that, here is the RSSI threshold value, which is again very important term. See, uh, as we have seen in the previous example, on my smartphone, I was getting two parameters. One is the name of that particular beacon and one is the RSSI value. RSSI stands for Receive Signal Strength Indicator, which reveals that how strong the signal is. Okay. So with the help of this RSSI threshold, we are allowing this uh, smart lock to know that when to open the lock, when this kitchen is very close to the door or when the kitchen is a little far from the door that we can you know uh, define by defining the threshold okay the bigger the number the more a uh, range it will get smaller the number the smallest range it will get okay so for our project i will put the range as a minus 50 uh, rssi only for your purpose you can change the rssi according to your need your purpose okay straight after that we'll go inside the loop part of the code and here in the loop part as you can see, whenever the RSSI is greater than the RSSI threshold, that means if the smart BLE kitchen is inside our range, what we are doing is we are straight away opening up the door while providing the signal high to the relay. And after five seconds, I'm closing the door by providing the signal low to that relay. And that's pretty much it about the smart BLE based door lock you can see. Okay. So now what I will do, I'll straight away uh, select the right board and port and hit the upload button onto another ESP32 board. Okay, so code is successfully uploaded. I'll open up the serial monitor and as you can see, I am getting the different devices. I will stop this auto scroll. So here are the addresses of the devices advertising the data nearby. This can be my laptop, this can be my smartphone, this can be anything, okay? And I'm also getting their uh, respected RSSI value, okay? So now we want to know the address of this particular our smart keychain. Now, right now it's in trigger mode. So as soon as I press the button, it will start advertising the data. So right now I'm getting two different addresses. That means there are two BLE device active in nearby this particular ESP32 board, okay? And when I press the trigger button, I get another device, which is the third device, and which is nothing but our BLE keychain, okay? So what I'll do, I'll straight away copy this address and paste it inside this particular, what you can say, known BLE address. So with this, what will happen is it will recognize a smart kitchen if it's in the range of it, a uh, particular uh, ESP32 board, it will open up the door, okay? So this is how you can add multiple device addresses and uh, add them into the known BLE address if you want to unlock the door using that as well, okay? Similarly, what I'll do, I'll add the address of my AirPods as well. So as you can see right now, there are two devices. I'll open up the AirPod and uh, okay as you can see the third device appeared so what i'll do is i'll simply copy the address of the airports as well and put it inside here okay so this is the same address of my airports so i'll paste it here okay so with this we have provided two kind of keys one is the smart kitchen and another is the airports using both of them i'll be able to open up the door lock okay so now i'll again upload this code as we have entered a new device address inside the known ble addresses okay so code is successfully uploaded i'll open up the serial monitor and I'll start the auto scroll. Okay. And now if I bring my keychain near to this device and press the trigger button, as you can see, it got recognized and it shows door open. Okay. And after five seconds, it shows door closed and we have successfully opened up the door and now we can enter the studio. Okay. So this is how this project is working. Now what I'll do is I'll straight away install this smart door lock PCB at my door and let us see this project working in action. So here, as you can see, the door is in locked position right now. And here is the smart kitchen running in the continuous mode. So now as he goes near to the door, the door automatically opens up and give him the access to the studio. Super cool, right? So now let's test this in the trigger mode. So again, the door is in the locked position. And here is the kitchen, which is running on the trigger mode. 
as soon as he presses the trigger button, the lock opens up. And again, welcome to the studio. Now the same results we get when we open air ports in front of the door. And similarly, you can use any of the BLE devices, maybe your smartwatch, maybe your tablet to open up this lock. So that was all about this beacon based project. I hope by watching this video, your concepts about beacon are much cleared and now you're also capable of making your own beacon based devices. If is it so, if you learn something new, consider liking this video because when you like it, the more you like it, the more a motivation we get to make more such projects onto our channel. Also comment below about what project ideas coming in your mind regarding this beacon based device. Like what will you make using this beacon that also comment down uh, in this video. And all the necessary information regarding this project is mentioned in the article whose link is in the description. Also, you can check out this t-shirt and if you like it, you can buy it. And along with this t-shirt, you can also get this free PCBs of this particular project. That being said, ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.